Well, hello there, Geography Sinners, and welcome to Memrise. I showed you this in our introductory lessons, and what I wanted to do now is actually show you what you can do with this website. Now, there are plenty of things that you can learn, but what I want you to do is to create your own Memrises so that you can test yourself and you can test others in the team. So here we've got Geography Sins. This is my account and this is the account that I will be creating memes from that you can check out. So what I've done is up here I've clicked on my home. So I've logged in as Geography Sins and this is what it looks like. What we're going to go to do is to the teaching button because this is where I create courses. And this is where you will create courses on your account. We click on create one now. You can decide the name for this course. So I'm going to call this course Introduction to Geography Ava. I'm not sure if you have to pick a category, but if you start typing geography, uh, you will find it and then you can click on it now. And um, this is going to be for English speakers because this is a worldwide web. And speak other languages as well, you are very welcome to learn in that language. Memorize is actually most common for learning languages, so if you wanted to do that in your spare time, you're very welcome to. We click Create Course, and the Introduction to Geography A-Level course page is here. So, what we have is a test of a word. And a definition. Much like the quiz talk quiz game, I'm going to cre create a word here and write a definition for it. So the word is Mr. Love, and the definition is my geography teacher. Now I'm finished with that. If I press enter, okay, that is added to this memorize an introduction to geography a -level. If I wanted to, I could upload an audio file or record one to go with that. And I might show you another thing called a mem, which you can add a bit later. Let's add another word. In fact, I might say students, let's say, let's say a geographical word, just because we've done that. So insulation is incoming solar radiation. Let's just say from this point that I'm happy with the words I've put in and the definitions that I've put in. What I will do is I will go back to the course and here we have the two definitions we've got ready to start planting. So I'll then click on start plant and it will tell me that the, the name Mr. Love has the definition my geography teacher. If I click next, it will then say the next one, insulation is incoming solar radiation. At the top here, you have a green bar. This shows you how far you are through this particular level. Now, there where it says help me remember this, you can choose a mem for this item. Now, if I click on that, <coughs> there are no mems that I have created for this word in this level. So if I said add a mem, then it will go take me through the tutorial how to create one. And let's watch them. Okay, so it's word association. If you uh, can't read in this short space of time, then pause the video. Step two, be imaginative. Okay, help you create a link. Make sure you can visualize that mem. 
and make sure it has a vivid link between. Now, some of these mems are a little bit silly um, because they kind of use word association that is not directly related to the actual word itself. Insulation. So, sol, solar, the sun is related. In is incoming. So try and think of something related to that rather than just a random um, lamb. With like, the word lambo meaning rally status strips. doesn't quite uh, necessarily have a ring to it. Anyway, these are all of the images that you could use. For insulation, it's actually it's actually searched it to for me on Google, but you can uh, create your own one if you want to, or upload your own picture. I'm just going to cancel that for now and click next because this is the fun bit. Now you've seen these two words, you have this amount of time to choose which one the answer to my geography teacher. Well, the answer is Mr. Love. And incoming solar radi radiation, hmm, is it Mr. Love, Mr. Love, insulation, or Mr. Love? It's insulation. Now, Mr. Love is what? What is the definition? As you can see, this is repeated three times. Now, we've only chosen two things to write definitions for. You need a minimum of four, so that there can be four different options. But there is no maximum, and the more you put in one section, the better. Now, for this, you actually have to type the definition for my geography teacher. Oh, actually, my geography teacher is the definition. You have to type the word. You can see the time, it gives you more time to do this. And let me have a go at typing it. I press enter. Oh no, it's almost right, but not quite, because I didn't put a space in between Mr. And love. So I get to write it again and it recognizes that I've done it correctly. Let me show you that again. Insul it's insulation, but I'm going to write insulation. Very close. It recognizes that with the yellow that it's insulation. If you get it completely wrong, it will show you a red. Like that. Okay. The more that it, the more that you get it wrong, the more times in that particular round that it will go round to make sure you get those right. Until finally, it is happy you've got them from that particular round. So. I planted two words, and in that round I got 67% accuracy. I can continue planting, but I don't have any more words. Or I can go back to the level. You can share it, or tweet it, or whatever, if you want to, on at Geography Students, or on your own Twitter account, so that you can see how you're getting on. But it would be great to see you get involved and do this, so that you can join the leaderboard for this particular test. Now, it should be pretty self-explanatory to log on and create an account, so I'll leave that to you. But basically, this is the section for your course. You can edit it like this, as we did earlier. You can go back to the overview of your course. If I then click on Geography Sims and go back to my home page, when I go to teaching, it shows the course there that I can edit. But as you saw, when I go back to home, it has a course here that I've started learning, and that is the Introduction to Geography A Level 1 I just created. Please follow me. You can follow who, however many people you like and whatever you like. And making a mem there is how you can make those memories, the memorizers. Okay, to help cement those definitions. This is really important as far as Geography A-Level is concerned because 
it's all well and good knowing definitions and we did learn some and it was a fun way to do it but unless you can conceptualize those unless you can think of a way to make sense of those definitions and remember them so take them from your working memory to your long-term memory then it's those understandings of them that will help just quickly then if we click browse here it browses through the courses that are available to you online as i said learning languages is really really popular if we scroll down there's a category of history and geography on here you can see the list of different things but i think this is something that you probably would enjoy doing in your spare time. So I'm going to say capitals because I like to learn these things. And someone's created a mem called Capital Cities. Before I click Start Learning, you can see that there are five different levels to this learning. Okay, so there's the capitals of Europe, America, Asia, Africa. If you said bless me, then you can have a house party. These are all the capital cities from each continent. It says plant, which is what we were doing earlier. After a certain amount of hours, a certain amount of days, and a certain amount of weeks, it will ask you to keep watering your learning, so you will keep going over and interleaving and recapping that learning. I would love to show you an example, but I haven't actually got one on this account, because I've just opened on my actual personal account I have, and if you want to know what that does and uh, how the watering works, then I suggest the best way to find out is to actually do it yourself. So, here's a little homework for you. Create your Memorize account, browse through the geography-based learning tools, and start learning. And then, to have a go, creating your own course because they will be wicked. I will be creating some as we go through and it will be part of your homeworks to create some anyway. But it might be a good way to get ahead of the game if you start thinking about definitions, mems and what it is really crucial that you learn and you think other guys in our class need to learn. I hope you've enjoyed this little video clip and I look forward to making many more for you. All that remains to be said is see you in class.